There we are. First fish of the day takes the voodoo shrimp, but he spits that hook. I just didn't get to set it. I thought I had been feeling some bites and I uh, just mistook it for, sometimes these docks have lines that go out into the water and it, they hold lights that are underneath and uh, you don't want to get hooked up into that so I'm just being very cautious and not letting my lure go down far enough. I checked the water depth, seems to be about eight feet deep and uh, I'm just giving my lure like a 3-1000 count in order to get down midway and yeah um, I thought that those bites were actually the, uh, the underwater lights the lines that go to them. But uh, nope, speckled trout, that's a good sign. <sighs> wow, very tough conditions, y'all. Picking up where we left off on Thursday, on Friday, wait, on Friday, on Saturday, Sunday, very tough fishing conditions. I mean, the weather is gorgeous, everything is perfect. There's no full moon. The water's nice and clear. Water temperature is good. A cold front hit and passed. And it's like these guys are in shock or something. That was a good bite right there. I say good. I'm, I'm using that term loosely. Um, <laughs> it was better than everything that I have been getting so far, which have been, my guess is going to be like pinfish. Maybe a croaker, but that right there is a nice little trout. There we go. Oh, right there. I touched the leader. It counts. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter if it counts or not. What matters is that the fish are out here willing to play, and that's twice that we've got something on the voodoo shrimp. I have thrown the savage gear, but I'm not getting the bites the way I am with this voodoo. So, last time we went out, it was a tie. I think we had two keepers for the Savage Gear and then two keepers for the Voodoo. This time, they're preferring the Savage, I mean the uh, Voodoo Shrimp. All right, let's get the Savage Gear into some action. Let's see if that guy is gonna be able to get a bite. And let's get this guy right here really quick. That's a, the Beefcake, it's got a, a faster rate of fall too. Oh, we got him on the drop. Yeah, baby. That's the way you do it. Big old sand trout. My goodness, that's a big fella. Okay. You get no style points for the fish, but uh, at least you get points for catching something. I mean, we're getting hit on every cast. This right here is when you need that small, tiny savage gear, y'all. If I had that little one, guarantee we would be hooking up left and right. I may just go and like purchase one and pit that against the Voodoo, since the Voodoo is a lot smaller than the savage gear that I'm currently using. We get one of the little tiny ones and we'll see on the next outing that we decide to use artificial shrimps at docks and stuff like that. Um, we'll see which one does better. No, that's gonna fuck. I was gonna say, no, that's gonna fall on my rod. We got another trout. Yeah, it's a uh, school of small sandies and speckled trout. There we go. Nice, huh? Not bad. Yeah, baby, that's a flounder. That's got to be, yep. Oh, that was a lucky cast. 
There we go, right in the net. I'm telling you what, I'm really liking the Voodoo Shrimp right now. It's what I'm preferring to cast versus the other. It just feels good whenever you're casting it to these docks. I have more control over something that's a little bit lighter. Uh, I'm predominantly a finesse style fisherman and that's what I tend to throw all the time so it just feels natural to me. The Savage Gear is a bit heavy but to the Savage Gear's credit they do sell a smaller shrimp and I think I touched on it earlier. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna buy even though it's it's uh, really really crazy expensive just for one I think that's what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do on the next outing with these guys uh, I'll just use the smaller tinier one just so that I can give the savage gear a, a fair shot that is a really nice size flounder right there y'all that is super good looking Buddy. He's ready to go. Yeah, little fella was ready. Righty, righty, right. That's the way to get the day started for sure. It's been about an hour worth of fishing, and uh, we were catching nothing but little small guys until that fella right there. There we go. Nice. Little redfish, y'all. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is not a red. That is the biggest croaker I have ever caught. Holy cow. Y'all, just, I mean, get a load of this watch out because his little gill plates are very sharp but look at that goodness gracious bro how yeah. oh well I mean he's big that's a good 12 inches or so man oh man that is the biggest croaker I ever caught definitely worthy of a photo all right so here we go photo of the biggest croaker ever man <laughs> dude hey, that's a couple fritters man you make a good sandwich look at you he's like nah my meat's all tough and chewy you don't want me wow I thought it was a red Oh wow, picked that fella off the bottom, and yep, that was a pinfish. I knew those turds were biting my lure. I knew it, thank goodness these things are tough, y'all. I guess if you're wondering, can they handle the sharp teeth of a pinfish? Uh, yes, indeed they can. There was no doubt in my mind that all the little machine gun taps, the double taps, everything, all those little beady ones had to have been pinfish those guys if you if you ever throw gulp you know just how much you dislike those fish because they will just ruin the tails and gulp is so expensive as well and it's a shame on like gulps ha that's another pinfish it's a shame on gulp for not making their lure just a little bit stronger to be able to withstand those pesky critters all right, come on now.
That's another hard thump. Surely that's not going to be a croaker, a pinfish, generating that style of a hit? Man. Got you. No, it sure wasn't. What is it? Speckled trout. Yeah, I figured it couldn't have been a tiny little fish. That was just too hard of a bite. Hold on, hold on, buddy. Hold, oh, that's a keeper, y'all. We got to We got Whoa, come on, dude. Hey. All right, whatever. Try to break dance fight, bro. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Hey, dude, okay, thank you. Um, yeah, no, probably 14 inches. Nonetheless, still a good catch. Oh, he pooped in the kayak. Okay, the line is still good. Shh, I'm pretty sure there's gonna probably be some more specks inside there. Let's see if we can get a, another one. Oh, nice. That's gonna be our keeper, I bet. That is, yeah, that's our keeper. Oh, yes! Wow, who'd have thought? That is the keeper of the day, Mr. Speckle Trout. Yeah, baby! Look at this, that is a gorgeous Speckle Trout right there. Oh my gosh, we're going to hurry up and get a photo of this fella and then put him back inside the water. All right. I'm going to thank you, Mr. Speck. I'm going to thank you, Mr. Speckle Trout, for biting our line. And you can go back about your business. We are literally at the last set of docks right here in the little community that I decided to come fishing today. I may make like half or go through a quarter of them again, just because we have a little bit of time. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer to get through all of them, but I'm very curious to see what a paddle tail is gonna do. So let's see uh, if we can finish this little small stretch and then tie on a paddle tail. But uh, in the event that we don't get anything, well, let's take this one to the house. Oh, that's gotta be oyster maybe? No, that's a fish. It is a ribbon fish. Look at this garbage, y'all. Man, I called it earlier. I knew these guys were here. They were here last time I came out. That is like super shiny. All right, well, let's get this turd off before he ruins. I mean, they got some razor sharp teeth too. I don't really want to ruin our lure. They're pretty expensive. These are really good bait. I thought I had oyster. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to fish down there no more. I was hoping to catch like maybe a redfish in the deep pool right by the bridge, but yeah, no, not with those ribbon fish. We'll, we'll give it one more shot, and I think that's gonna be it. We'll probably call it a day after that. Thanks for watching everyone. I really appreciate the support. Every view that the video gets helps to keep me on the water, filming the content that you enjoy, and it allows me to do what it is that I enjoy, which is fishing every day. So I really appreciate y'all. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. For those of you that are interested in the lures, the gear, and everything that I use, that will be linked in my video description down below. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.